Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to be decorating a very simple buttercream wedding cake. It'll be three tiers, serves right around 100 to 115 people. This bottom tier is a 14 inch round. I've done a classic white cake, just two thick layers. They did not want a fruit filling, so this just has a simple buttercream filling and it's gonna be iced in a simple buttercream icing. So it's very classic, very doable for most weddings, um, very cost effective for the bride and groom. And so on this cake particularly, this bottom tier, I'm just using a cake spatula to apply the icing and going back and evening that out. And then I'm going to use a large acrylic or plastic cake scraper like this one here it's about eight inches in height and I got that from cakesafe.com you can also find it on Amazon and if you actually look at the details at the end of this video I will attach a link to an Amazon page I created that has some of my favorite tools listed and the links to purchase those and this is actually one of the things that are on there and it is my favorite favorite tool it does a really great job so this cake is like I said, it's a really simple cake. I'm not gonna spend too much time trying to make it perfectly level and smooth because I am going to go back and add texture with, again, my cake spatula. I'm just going to take the back of my spatula and run it along the sides of the cake while I'm turning my turntable to make a nice line that wraps around the whole entire tier. I did just use a basic level that you saw me do just to make sure that I was on point with the levelness of this cake so that when I stack my other tiers, they sit nice and straight. So that was a really simple texture design. It's really popular right now. I've done several cakes. The entire cake is like this, but on this particular design, they just wanted it on the bottom tier. So now I'm using a Viva paper towel and you want to use these because they have zero texture, zero design on them, and they're really soft. And so I'm actually just barely pressing against the cake to pull away any flyaways or a little bunches of icing that could have gotten glopped up and kind of look you know irregular and you want to smooth those out this is my center tier so this is a 10 inch strawberry cake again no fruit filling just the buttercream and i'm applying it the exact same way but i am going to smooth this one out completely so that i can go back later and add a few buttercream dots so you're going to see me do that and then you're going to see me do the top tier in the same way smoothed out but i will be applying a buttercream scroll design to that top tier you're also going to see me stack the cake in this video you'll see me cut the dowels for the bottom and center tier however you will not see me add the six inch top tier because i waited until i was i arrived at the wedding venue to add that just for traveling purposes and all of that stuff but when i got there i didn't have time to video it so you will not see me add the top tier but you will see a picture of the cake all put together with the fresh flowers it really turned out cute um, but again this is a really simple design if you're a beginner or if you've only done a few wedding cakes is a perfect one to try you can play around with the different textures to really make it your own but it generally does a really good job it goes with a lot of different flower arrangements on your cakes and should really satisfy a lot of your bride and grooms
Now in this section of the video is where I start to stack the different layers and put the dowels in. So these are just plastic dowels. You'll notice the really thin one that I cut first will go in the very center. It's almost like the size of a straw, but it's sturdier. And then these larger dowels I'm cutting to go around the outside. So I'll put several in this bottom tier because it's holding all of the weight. But then the center tier, the six inch we'll be sitting on top of only needs three or four small ones and it'll be perfectly fine. And I also ordered these off of Amazon um, and I'll have a link to that as well because these things are perfect I get the same ones every time I've never had any problems with these thick plastic dowels on the bottom tier and then the smaller ones on the top and and center tiers it's just been a lifesaver for me they work really well and then I add a little bit of icing um, between each tier as I stack them almost like a glue um, to make them sit a little bit better and then you'll also see me cut just a wooden thin skewer to a and hammered down to kind of connect the bottom and center tier. Now, if you were gonna stack all three tiers before you left, you could hammer that through all three tiers. But in this video, you're gonna see me cut it down and then just hammer it through the bottom too. And then as you just saw me do and doing there, I cut these a little too tall. So I'm using just some pipe cutters. They're perfect for those large dowels to just kind of shave a little bit off the top before I insert them back into the cake. So once you've got that stacked, now I'm going back and I'm adding the details to the different tiers. So this is the scrolling I was referring to for that top tier. I'm using a four tip, a four Wilton brand tip to do this. You could do a three if you want it to look a little thinner. And if you really want it to look more like lace, you could even do a one or two tip and just thin your icing out so it's easier to squeeze. And that would give you a, a finer tip look and more of a lacy look. So I just kind of go back and forth with the different curls and all the different vines kind of working off of it. And then I go back again and fill in all the little, what I would call dead spaces with little dots or more little curls or loops just to make it look more encased in that particular design.
And after I stacked those, I did go back with a 10 tip, a Wilton number 10 tip, just a large round tip to just cover up where the two tiers met. And now I'm going back with a video paper towel to smooth that out. Um, I also used earlier in the video that same Viva paper towel to kind of push down slightly on those little dots I piped just to make sure there were no peaks on them and points. And then there's the wooden skewer I was referring to earlier. I cut it down and then I'm hammering it right through the center and poking it down through so it'll hold those two tiers together as I travel. And now I'm going to go back with that same Wilton number 10 tip to pipe a bead border on both tiers. And then once I get to the venue, I'll stack that top tier and do another bead border to cover up where the two tiers meet once again. A bead border is the perfect thing for wedding cakes, birthday cakes, sheet cakes, whatever you're doing. If you aren't, if you don't have some sort of decorative border to add, always add a simple bead. You can do small, large, whatever and it looks really cute on a wedding cake like this it just looks like little pearls it always goes over really well and adds a little bit of detail in between those layers which customers always tend to enjoy and this is the finished product the flowers were great they had a topper there i brought the stand with me it was perfect i really hope you enjoyed this video and that it helped you out please comment below with any questions you have i would love to help you get started on your own perfect cake life